Welcome back for another one. Today is the start of the boat build project on the Four Rivers Refuge Runner. So I'm pretty excited about this. We did the mow marsh and I learned quite a bit on it and there's things I could have done better. And so hopefully I can take what I learned on that mow marsh and put it into play on that Four Rivers Refuge Runner. So I had to go with some hydro turf. I love it in that mow marsh boat, so I had to put it in that. But I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a minute with that. There's gonna be a, a little bit of a difference there. And then I've also got a whole box of goodies over here of things that we're gonna be doing. So stick around, it's getting close to season. I wanna get everything done. We might do things a little bit differently on the Refuge Runner build, so stay tuned. So here is the, uh, the rig itself. So we've got two layout boats on this trailer and I'm keeping the Momarsh up top because it's a little bit lighter and I'm probably not gonna use it as much as the Refuge Runner. Just kind of comparing the two, we'll get into that here in a future video. I'll do a comparison side by side of these things, but I honestly think that I'm gonna prefer the Refuge Runner. So let's go ahead and get the Refuge Runner out show you guys what it's all about. Oh, we got a little rain water in there. We'll have to clean that up. So the floor of the Refuge Runner is definitely different than the Mo Marsh. And if you look, there is, there's grooves in it. So there's a groove that goes down there and a groove that goes down there. So that's gonna be interesting for our hydro turf. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is lay a strip down the center and a strip off to the left and a strip off to the right. I also want to let you guys know that I'm doing a giveaway right now until September 1st of 2022. There's a link down below. Click that link in the description and it'll take you to the giveaway. It's completely free to enter and I'm giving away five dozen of the Final Approach Last Pass Canada Goose silhouettes and a structured silhouette decoy bag. So if you guys are interested, make sure to click that link and go enter for a chance to win. So the HydroSurf I ordered is uh, it's like 86 inches long, 84 inches long, something like that. And it seems like I'm not gonna have enough to cover the whole bottom of the boat. So I'm gonna be doing the strips like I said, but then we're also gonna just kind of focus on having it go from like the front here where the cockpit starts to the back of the cockpit. Everything in front, you don't really need the HydroSurf on there. It's really just to make your knees and your butt more comfortable when you're in there and also give the dog some grip in the boat. So let's go ahead and get this rainwater dried up out of here and get the hydro turf out. All right, let's get this hydro turf unboxed here. Hopefully they sent the right stuff. I'm sure they did. But let's take a look at this. Boom, so we got the uh, the good old duck camo. It's 3M back with some uh, 3M adhesive on there. So what I need to do is take some measurements on the inside of the boat to make these strips that I need to make. So we will uh, actually first, I just wanna take this over there and see how forward and backward we're gonna be on the floor. So it looks like it's gonna fit edge to edge on this cockpit. Really nothing more forward or backward than that. Okay, so now I know kind of what we're gonna be looking at. So any, any space that you see um, from the top down, you're gonna see this, but everything else won't have that hydro turf on there. I don't wanna cover these little grooves here because that's gonna help hold water down on the bottom away from my butt and all my stuff. And it's also gonna help water drain towards the back of the boat. So those are there for a reason and we're gonna keep them there instead of covering them up with the hydro turf. So what we need to do is get a good measurement of the length that we need for this. I'm gonna maybe go just a little bit big. So it looks like 17 and a half inches is kind of the spot that we want to be yep okay so 17 and a half inches is what we need to do so we're going to measure out our 17 and a half inches you know what we'll go just uh, go 17 and three quarter actually 
we'll double check. Measure twice, cut once, you know? Oh, I have an idea. That's gonna work great. Perfect. We'll just, I can't believe I didn't think about this. So I got the kind with just straight lines down the center of it. So they're just grooves. So what I'll do is follow this one groove and cut with that groove all the way down. That should work. Fresh razor blade too, because this stuff is probably gonna be pretty dang wacky on the blade. Okay, straightest cut in the world, probably not, but it actually looks pretty good. Let's go check. And what I learned from that other boat was that laying the stuff in in one big sheet is kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, that is perfect. It's gonna kind of curl over the sides just a little bit, which will be nice and it doesn't get all snagged. So I might lean that more towards like that way. And we'll line everything up right. I don't know. Not really concerned about having a lot of this for the dog because she's got a kennel cot that we're gonna throw down, but I think that'll work like that. Now I gotta figure out what I gotta do with the other stuff here. So the tricky part with this is that it, it curves. So it goes narrow, wide in the middle, and then narrows out in the back. So I'm gonna just try and get a good measurement from the middle. Looks like 13 and a half is about what we're gonna be going for here. So I gotta measure the other sheet, see how much I gotta work with, and I might just have to split the difference, call it good. So let's see here, in a perfect world it'll be 27. 29 okay we're gonna cut 14 inch and then over here we'll cut another 14 inch I uh, messed that up a little bit but no biggie and now we will see how this fits in here it's definitely gonna need to get trimmed but just kind of wanting to see what I'm kind of working with here. I believe somebody commented this on the last video when I was doing this. They said to flip the boat over and check for that. Like uh, check for sizing and such. See, this is why I listen to you guys. You guys always give me good ideas on things to do and how to execute something better that I did wrong. So like this, for example, flip the boat over to check your measurements for the hydro turf on the floor because it's the same on the inside as it is on the outside. So it's going to tell me exactly where to trim. You can see I've got a little bit of excess here to trim off, kind of get the contour right along the edge here. And uh, you can see it's also got the uh, the little ridge here to follow too. So that is gonna work out perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna just try my best to kind of just get this rough shape done. And I think I really only need to do this kind of right around the corners. Okay, now we'll just kind of follow this, this line as best as we can. There's one. Not perfect, but I think it'll work. Let's flip her over and see what happens. Oh, that one fits much better. That one will work too. Ouch. That hurt. Just gotta make sure it's all stuck on there good. 
especially around the edges because the edges will be the first place for it to start to peel. Here we go, that side is done. That actually worked out really good. I guess we'll go ahead and stick the middle in now. So I wanna make sure I get this pretty well lined up and centered as best as I can. We'll go ahead and get this side tacked on there real quick with this. Make sure she's all stuck on there good. Here we go. Just got one more to go. And there we go. We've got the Hydro Turf installed. It worked out pretty good. I think it, it looks good and it's gonna work with the little grooves that are in the floor. So, I mean, my only concern is that it's gonna start peeling up over time, but uh, it might not, you never know. So we'll let this kind of sit and dry and cure and stick on there and get stuck on there really well because it's got, got that 3M backing on it. So hopefully I don't have any issues with the edges peeling up. So I'll just make sure I s really squish it on there, make sure it's good and stuck. And then hopefully over time, it just kind of creates that good bond. But now, you can get everything cleaned up and move on to the next project. What we've got is this. These are the LED strip lights. I did this on the other boat and I think it's gonna be really cool. So I wanted to do it on this, a little bit of courtesy lighting, you know, sitting in the marsh, chilling, waiting for shooting light, trying to find your stuff. Like having a little bit of courtesy lighting in here would not be a bad plan. So for 12 bucks, uh, I figured why not? It's, I don't think it's gonna stretch all the way around. Uh, this cockpit is bigger than the other one. so. I think we'll just try to figure out the best place to put this and then start sticking it in on there. So let's get to working on it. Came with a little cleaning wipe. So we'll definitely try and use that. But here we go, here's the strip lights. I don't know if I got the same ones as I did the last time, but I do know that the adhesive backing on the other one that I used was pretty much garbage. Um, I need to get some tape, that helped me last time. So first things first, I do want to figure out um, kind of what the layout of this is going to look like. So I'm just curious to see how much of a gap we're going to have in the light strip. So I'm going to just tape this on here and kind of tape it around the corners just to kind of get an idea of how short I'm going to be. So then we can kind of plan where our gap is going to be. So it looks like we're only gonna have like maybe a foot of gap. So uh, bah, 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 bah. I think we'll put the gap, we'll put the gap in the front. I think that'll be a, a good move. Or I could put the gap in the back. You know what, we'll put the gap in the back. That'll be the move. Right now I'm just using this tape to kind of do a dry fit. Okay, so as you guys can see, there is one end of the light strip and there is the other end. So it's wrapping up all the way around to the front and then down the side. I'm gonna try to use that sticky stuff and hopefully that'll do the trick, but I've also got some silicone from the last project and uh, I might end up having a silicone in on there too. So hopefully that little primer wipe helps and uh, everything sticks just fine where I don't have to have a huge pain in the butt putting this thing on. So let's give it a go. <laughs> it is not sticking. Go figure. Time to get messy. Cora, go play. Go do something else. 
I don't want you licking me. All right, so now that I'm all covered in silicone, I need to get some of it cleaned off. Here's what it's looking like. So I used some of this masking tape to kind of tack it up there, and I used all that silicone to squish it on there and hold it. So it seems to work on the other boat, so no reason why it wouldn't work on this one. Um, it's got a gap back here, so it ends here and ends there, so corner to corner. So there's not gonna be any green lighting in the back, but all the way around to the uh, front and sides, that is going to have the green lighting. So I think that's a good place to kind of stop for today. Uh, hopefully this kind of helps you guys out if you're trying to do this project yourself, you're wanting to maybe do it on a kayak or a layout boat, or even a big boat for that matter. Um, it seems like that silicone stuff really works well to hold that on. Um, it's just your generic uh, household all-purpose silicone is what I'm using. So, I don't know, five, 10 bucks at the hardware store and get a tube of this. But yeah, there you go. There it is, episode one of the uh, Four Rivers Refuge Runner build. I'm excited about this. It's a, it's a neat boat and I'm excited to see the differences between the Mo Marsh and the Four Rivers. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. I will catch you on the next one.